Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Souls. So today we're gonna make progress. So let's start by doing that, shall we? Yeah, hit me. I don't know why they didn't finish them all, to be completely honest. Apparently these guys take three hits. I'm used to them taking like four. Ah, oh, so I can summon someone here, but I I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just uh, fire out. You're gonna do four swings because that is your combo, and you're gonna pay for it. All right, so there's that. She need to pay attention to what kind of arrows I have. I'm using. That's bad. That's the only- Oh. Oh. I need to buy arrows. Real quick, I need to buy arrows. That's something I need. So I'm going to Medjula real quick now. Sorry for wasting time, but... <clears throat> arrows are a thing that I need. I should probably bubble up one more time. Seek, seek, quest, whatever. I think I can level up one more time. Oh, I damn sure can. Um, what would I want, though? I mean, if I want better rolls, I could adapt ability, but... Yeah. <clears throat> I think I'll go an extra point in endurance. An extra two physical defense, I could always use that. I'll take it. And I've got plenty of souls left over, as far as I'm concerned. On top of all the souls I haven't used, but... So I need to buy arrows before I do anything. Um, and buy iron. He has 50 of those. How many iron ones can I get? Nah, it's not worth getting iron then. I don't want to see where I just get like 115. I'll be around if you make it back. Alright, now that I have arrows, we can actually make progress. Let me just equip those first because I don't want to be done. Alright. Arrows are kind of going to be necessary. You'll see why I mean. Also wondering why I should switch to for my ultimate weapon. I'm thinking probably something with cutting action. The reason I say that is because I already have a pretty good crush weapon in this mace. Clear bait. Then you just give him a couple whacks and he's done. What he actually tries to do is uh, break the platform there. So that he runs, so that you have to make the jump and he'll run off into here and bad things happen more or less. We don't want bad things to happen. Because then this guy shoots us. It sucks. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shoot him in the face a bit. Assuming the game will let me pull out an arrow. The game doesn't like doing stuff a lot. This guy's being a dick. Absolute dick. Did he kill himself? He might have? Whatever. Let's deal with a couple of these guys for now. So that deals with them. If they dropped anything, well, all you need to do is that, and the platform is back up. I'm also going to try to shoot this guy here. I 
he can hit me. Which also does my aim. For whatever reason. Aim, please. Oh my god, you freaking wall. Screw these invisible walls, they're the worst. Miss me. Just draw back on the bow, please. Thank you. Just pay no attention to me. Goodbye. I need to drink up now. What an asshole. <clears throat> Kind of happy I brought as many arrows as I did, considering. So I need to use this lockstone here. It's actually kind of important. Kind of important to the cause to use this lockstone here. My mouse is being kind of weird right now. Yeah, that's right, I have to actually hit these walls. There is a bonfire ahead, but I don't want to use it. Because that would reset my progress for this area. Because the only way out of that bonfire is up there, and up there is uh, the second bell tower of the game, more or less. I want to be at the second one. Oh, fuck off. You hit me through something. And you can't actually hit me from here. Fucking genius. I'm actually doing less and less damage because he seems to be moving backwards. Wish I could headshot this guy. But whatever, he's dead. Oh, I'll make sure I clear out all these archers. That's gonna hit me. Be falling. I'm good at this. No, I think I've cleared out enough. I could probably just rush this guy now. See, man, don't get hit. Goodbye. All right. So the main reason for coming over here. Such as the fact that you have to. And that lowered. Fun fact, that lowers for some reason. Not sure why I actually lowered, to be completely honest. It'd probably a lever or something somewhere. Yeah, there's gotta be a lever or something somewhere. Someone's being an asshole. Because I'm like 90% of these things should not be lowering. It's the first time it's actually happened to me. Uh, he's dead. Forgot he was there. Oops. Don't step on that pressure plate. That's bad. You can't get back if you step on that. Well, you can, but very, very specific, precise jumps need to be done to get back from that. And there's a chest over there that I'm not going to be getting. Too much work. It's probably an Estes Flask shard knowing my luck. I hit the pressure plate. Whoops. So yeah, now that's going to be hell to get through. Oh boy. I was not sure why I was all reset, but whatever. Alright, we need to cross this. Oh, there's pressure plates here. There. How did I never notice those before? Seriously, how did I never notice those pressure plates? 
up, mate? Goodbye. He's got his drop large titanate shard. That could be useful for farming. I need to get around here. Right, so this area should be fairly easy coming up. Just because of the weapons I have. There's a few more troll knights. I think one more black knight who likes to troll people. Yeah, he's literally just sitting right up here. What he likes to do is he likes to wait for you to move down. And then drop off. Because he's kind of a dick. Like so. And now he's dead. Missed a few swings there, but whatever. <clears throat> Mostly not sure if there's anything else in that room. There probably is. So the other thing we need to do is we need to uh, bait you out. Goodbye. You'll see the pull this. And you need to be very careful with this because this trap does a lot of damage if you get hit by it. So what you want to do is you want to bait him into an attack. Not that. Not the one where he hits you. And he's dead. That was nice and easy. So what you want to do is you want to get through this room. It takes a little bit, but you'll do it. We're basically there. Alright, so here's the bonfire you want. It's right up here. Here, bonfire is kind of a trap to stick you in that pit and then make you redo the, the first little beginning area. Because, like I said before, the only way out of that is through the bell tower upstairs and... Much like the previous bell tower, you just get invaded 24-7 in there, and it's not fun. Unless you like to play the disconnect your internet the second you get invaded game. Wait for it to load in and disconnect it, and then after like 30 seconds of no connection, the game will literally just be like, well, we couldn't connect to you, so they've been sent back to their world, and then you just re-enable your internet, and it doesn't actually disable your online connectivity if you re-enable it the second they get something back to their world. It's hilarious, actually. It lets you completely cheese out the whole game. Like, literally, the game doesn't know how to react to that, so you can literally just get around invasions that way. It's completely cheap, completely against game design. But fuck invaders, so... I do it. So I've got the mace for this thing. I'm not sure I want the mace for this fight, but uh, I don't really have much of a choice. But yeah, here's the second great boss. I don't really have any elemental shit I can use here. Probably should rest at the bonfire. But you know what? YOLO. I'm doing the solo anyway. Oh boy. This will be an interesting fight. Yeah, we're fighting that thing. Looks like a demon souls enemy. Like, it, kind of, anyway. Kind of resembles the thing you fight in uh, World 2, like Final Boss of World 2 in Demon Souls. Which is a game I still have to, like, play, more or less. So this guy. I'm not a projectile character. I'm going to have to do this the hard way. I'm going to have to roll bear. I'm going to have to roll way bear. Okay, so there's a trick to this fire breath. If you time it right, you can actually roll right between it. Timing your rolls for this fight is literally an entire fight. He still hit me. I need to heal. 
drink up. I've got a little bit of input delay for some reason. She's probably gonna get me killed. Tried that. Let's heal up. I'm kind of wondering if I can block that. I probably can. But I don't think it's worth the risk. Heal up. I'm going through way too many of these. I know I can totally roll past that. I'm just... Dumb. Mash out Estus. Give another hit. He always seems to hit me on that. It tracks really good. Bugs me, actually. That, that move tracks way too good for its own good. I need to heal. Don't fall into the lava. He killed me. Oh boy. So yeah, my rules are not as good as I thought they were. It's because my adaptability is complete shit. So really in this fight is gonna be a problem, to say the least. Because the other two times I've done this fight in this game, I've had higher adaptability characters. To be honest, I probably should have done more adaptability on this character, but eh. I suppose the one solution I do have is uh, remove some armor. And get better adaptability that way. Which I might have to do. So I think I'll take a look at it right now. This way is 6.2 and does not give me that much protection. This gives me more protection and weighs two pounds less. And this gives me roughly the same protection and weighs half as much. So I might as well wear that. In all honesty. Mannequin Mask, the Wanderer Hood, and the Alone Night Helm. Roughly the same, I will wear it. Doesn't look as cool, but... I'm reducing my weight. Um... Now, during leg leg legging, he's not going to come close to that, I can guarantee. That really doesn't reduce my weight that much. Holy crap, I'm fucking fat. It's the tower shield that's doing it. Which actually, I'm going to be using the tower shield for this fight. We completely... Actually, can I blow a fire with this? I can. I might lay out the fire. Also, I'm going to remove the bow because I'm not going to be using it, so that should help the equipment weight a little bit. So I can use a tower shield or I can switch to Drain Lake. Do I have a shield that does a lot of fire resist? Like more in my current one. The poor scene, but that does not have a lot of damage reduction. The mirror shield is actually pretty good. It's a pretty damn good shield. Oh, I'll stick with the tower shield for now. Still over 60% weight, but... I have lightened up considerably. Like, where am I at now? 60.9. Yeah, that shield is just so heavy. I have anything that has like a lot of fire resist. Your lawn night leggings. 
quite a bit of fire resist on it. The weight actually goes up if I wear it though. It's roughly the same protections, huh? And there's the Elon Knight gauntlets. Well, if I'm not going to be able to get the uh, quicker rules, I might as well just go with three pieces of the Elon A set. Mm -hmm. 